Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on transport pipes. As you can see around me, I've been having a lot of fun with this amazing plugin, and it allows you to create these pipelines which transport items from maybe a furnace to a chest or vice versa. So I've set up a few examples. Let's have a look at them now. This one has a chest of lapis. If I turn on the switch and power the pipeline, it will make all the lapis blocks travel along the pipeline to the other chest here. Don't worry about the flashing flame, I'm using a slightly older version of this plugin because I was having a few issues. I'm also using 1.9.2.jar if you're interested. I couldn't get it to work on uh, the 1.9.jar I was using previously, I don't know why. So if I turn it off it will stop transporting them and will continue until they are all in the other chest like that. A really nice use is to have a chest full of ore and these will travel down the pipeline and go into all three um, furnaces. So it will separate in the middle going into each one and as you can see we are getting a lot of iron ingots which is really cool. Over here I have created a small one, it only needs to be powered so if I get a redstone torch, pop it down, we can see that various different items are being uh, put along the pipeline and into the furnace here. I'm not sure why uh, there's a blaze rod in there, but that shouldn't really be in there. And it is going back, which is good because it doesn't go in the furnace. So um, I'm gonna show you how to use this plugin now. If we do forward slash info book, it will give us a book and this is how to use the plugin. So you right click on the ground to place it, how to craft it and stuff like that. So let's show you how to craft the two different types of pipes. The normal pipe is crafted via a stick and a blaze rod that will give you six. And if you want the golden pipe, you have to add golden ingots and that will give you one golden pipe. Like that, very straightforward. So let me just pop these in here, we don't need them anymore. And let's get into creating our own pi pipeline. So uh, let me just grab a chest and a lever. Let's do it, do it up here. Uh, so if we pop down the chest and create a tiny pipeline, doesn't really matter which, like that. Um, if we put an item in here, such as the chest itself, and we turn it on, obviously the uh, item will travel from chest to chest. Now over here, I have created a pipeline using a golden pipe. If we pop this down, you'll see it is just a square with lots of different colours on. If you right click it with a stick, let me just grab a stick, there we go, so right click, you will see all these different colours. Now if you connect it at various different colours such as the, the white and the yellow and the red and the orange, uh, and then right click it, you will see that you can actually place items in there. So this is really cool because you can choose where various items go, for example, the yellow side will only have blue wool traveling down it, and the red side will only have red wool. So if we turn this on, we will see it in action. So it goes blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Blue will go down yellow, and red will go down red. So this is amazing that you can do that, that you can separate all items. You could um, maybe put all ores in one, weapons in another, and you could have a sorting machine. And as you can see, they are going into the chest down below, and there is no blue wool in here, and up here has the blue wool. So that is how you use the sorting machine, make sure you right click with the stick, and then you can sort it out. But yeah, this plugin is really cool, I haven't seen anything like it before. Uh, you can download it for free off of Spigot, which is great, and you can mess around with it. Um, I know I've had a lot of fun messing around with it, it's just such a cool plugin. Uh, I love what the developers done with it. So uh, I think that is about it. Uh, I just made this building to put the pipes in. I think it's pretty cool. So subscribe, like, comment. I will be back hopefully in a few days with another great plugin. Maybe tomorrow, probably not. <laughs> you know what I'm like with my schedule. So uh, I will see you in the next video.